Hi, um, this is my first attempt at anything instructional on video. It's actually my first time using video on this particular camera, but I wanted to help my pen friends um, get awesome pictures of our pens. So I've started with um, the exact setup Ed Jelly was kind enough to share with us. Um, he's an amazing photographer of uh, everyday carry products as well as pens. So as he suggested, I started with a very simple layout, um, facing a window as he suggested on a nice little mat. Of course, he would um, definitely place these much more carefully than I have. Um, but I am going to use two very simple tools. I'm going to be using a smartphone as well as a uh, much older outdated point and shoot camera that you know maybe at the time was about four or five hundred bucks I think um, I definitely didn't pay that much I bought it when it was already an older product on clearance and I believe now they sell used for you know maybe a little over one hundred dollars so this guy is made by Panasonic it's called a Lumix LX7 so if we start with the setup that Ed Jelly um, showed us you know, we know that it just in the sliding with a cell phone, I can get, you know, a really great picture. Uh, if I were to take the same picture with the, with the, the actual camera in automatic mode, I think I'm going to get the exact same picture. So this is where it gets a little bit harder. I have, um, a brand new, um, a Pelican amethyst. These are usually pens that are hard to show color and detail and I also have some demonstrator pens because a common issue is how do I show how cool the ink looks on here. Um, sometimes you have pens with engraved markings or facets that are really cool and you know they're very hard to photograph. So I'm gonna uh, try to capture color and detail again with the simplest of tools. The first thing I use is this um, LED light. So I use this and I'm gonna turn it on away from the camera here. And I just turn it on to full power. And I can do um, many things with this. Now there's one very important setting. Um, on these cameras that, again, even entry-level cameras should have this. So in this camera, it's this icon right here. Let's see if I can get a better picture of it. There's a little icon that looks like a, you know, a, a box cut in half diagonally. And on one side it says plus, on the other side it says minus. Um, in Photolingo, that's called exposure compensation. Um, but it basically just makes your image brighter and darker. What we're going to want to do is play with that exposure compensation um, to make the image brighter. And what that will do is um, bring out the colors that would otherwise be in shadow. So in this case, I have a Twisby demonstrator pen with J. Bon Rouge Hematite or Hematite uh, ink in it. And the cool thing about this ink is it's got these little gold flakes that tend to settle. And when you turn the pen over, you can um, really see these gold flakes. So I'm going to play with the position of this light. Uh, and I've got this camera set to take pictures a little on the brighter side. And moving around the lamp and taking some pictures again with my brightness turned up. So play with the position of the light as well as the position of the camera. Um, you know, I'm going to do the same with this other pen in which I have uh, also J. Arbon um, Emero de Chavour. For demonstrator pens, 
uh, a backlit shot will always uh, give you a good look at the inside. Now another tip I can give you is to use a simple grey card. Grey cards are used in photography to get the right color and the right um, lighting setup. So anytime there's a neutral grey backdrop, your camera will, for the most part, give you a very, very correct uh, reading of light and color. I'm back to just the simple window light setup. And again, the only thing I've changed on this camera is that brightness, uh, darkness setup. Um, the other thing we have a hard time showing is pen, um, I'm sorry, ink properties and sheen. And this is where our little light will come in very handy as well. So we can do it by window light. Um, and I will show you that I've written with just with the pens that I'm using here right now. Um, again, just my LED light and my regular camera. Just getting as close as I can and playing with um, the position of my light. I want to try to show you the color um, of the inks I have loaded in these pens, as well as some sheen, some shading. Now I've got uh, two Yamabuto lines, and that is because the first time I wrote that, um, the ink had gotten dried up in the nib and so it came out looking brown. Uh, whereas once I you know, gave it a, a quick flush, it started coming out correctly. So I will now try to put these images I've just shot into this video um, and hopefully this will be helpful to you.